Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about transit Saturn conjunct one's natal moon. Now, when you have a transit that involves Saturn, it can involve restrictions, limitations, but also structure, uh, discipline, responsibility, laborious efforts, and work as well. Now, when you have the transit Saturn conjunct your natal moon, this could manifest in restrictions and limitations, uh, structure, discipline, responsibility, and also uh, laborious work and efforts that can be connected with your emotions. You might feel more inhibited about expressing those emotions at this time. If it's in Gem Gemini, it could be very manifold and multitude and variety of emotions. And the thing about uh, this is, and also your feelings as well, you might feel like there's like some kind of clamp at times as far as your feelings go, but it could also give discipline as far as that goes as well. I mean, such as not uh, maybe expressing your sentiments at an inopportune time. Remember that uh, conjunctions are, uh, there are neutral aspects that could be good and bad with them. And it's also about uh, really, uh, it could be a lot of laborious efforts uh, connected with things you are responsible for and you're as far as where I'm so not responsible for it might be it might be um, more laborious work in connection with your home and your family and uh, and people you're close to home with say if this is in Scorpio or the eighth house it might be some kind of transformation or renovation of the home or some rebirth of part of it was destroyed you know isolated cases say if there's you know it's like a tornado or some you know something devastating happened uh, to a uh, to part of your home and you're trying to rebuild it um, it could also be a time where you might feel more inhibited or, or your, res your res reactions and responses might be more limited at this time than usual or you have a harder time replying to things more so uh, than usual uh, another thing too is that the moon is also associated with uh, prominent women uh, that are in our life scheme so it could be a time where there might be uh, there might be more responsibility uh, toward these uh, toward these people uh, if it's something um, you know, say falls uh, for example an Aquarius in your sixth house it might be maybe uh, it could be something connected with maybe computer service uh, you, know, you might be um, you might be helping them uh, with and uh, it might be an additional responsibility uh, for uh, for you at this time. It could be also remember that the moon is also connected uh, with our subconscious and unconscious uh, as well. And there might be a time where um, some cases it could be some um, could be some you know we were looking at uh, Saturn. Maybe there's more. Um, you know, there might be more sorrow in connected that might be connected with something with the unconscious uh, remember when you're unconscious you're dreaming you're sleeping uh, it might be maybe you know it could be some dreams that could manifest and I would say that might be a little bit more depressing and, and have you know despondency connected with them uh, it could also be as well um, you're looking at this and this and the moon could also be associated with food as well and this is about you know could be some food restriction at this time where maybe you might have had a doctor's visit and maybe something was stated that you're eating too much or it's too much of the wrong uh, kind of food um, in some isolated cases maybe this manifests in the body rejecting the food it might be some kind of disorder uh, and also anatomically speaking uh, you're looking at this the moon is connected with the chest the breast the left or right eye depending on gender and also water retention so this could be a time where you might uh, be Saturn can be connected with chronic uh, debilitations difficulties uh, there might and restrictions as well and 
especially if you have this site in the first or the sixth house in your natal chart because the first house is of course associated with the physical body the sixth house is associated uh, with physical issues debilitations this could be uh, some issues at this time that might involve uh, might involve the chest or breast area it could be some problems uh, with the with the uh, left or right eye uh, and also water retention uh, as well it might be some it might manifest in difficulty in holding water and keep in mind too that Saturn again is connected with laborious work and efforts maybe there's difficulty in retaining the water it might be attributed to working hard too hard and vigorously uh, as well uh, and the thing about this is uh, the moon is also associated with the public so it might this could manifest in working vigorously on something that might be tied in with your public life if it's in Aquarius it could be something with astrology or astronomy computers electronics uh, something with innovation uh, and it could be uh, and this also could be in some cases now another way this could manifest this could be where the father an older person a grandparent maybe may even be more prominent in your emotional needs at this time say this falls in Aquarius it could be things with new technology innovation computers electronics it could be social networking the internet uh, and also to um, this could be connected with chronic and Saturn can be associated with chronic debilitations and illnesses so it could be again going back to the fact that there can be some difficulty with the stomach the chest the breast area maybe there's digestion issues say if this is in Virgo it might be maybe it's tied into some kind of excessive worrying uh, in the left or the right eye uh, depending on gender if it's in Gemini as an example maybe there's double vision or Pisces as another example can be very unclear or even perhaps blurred vision uh, and the moon is associated with feelings so this could be a time where you might be feeling more melancholy or depressed or despondent more so than usual and even if you have this like say in Sagittarius a very jocular and jovial sign that always seems to have a perpetual smile on the face it could even impact those people it could impact anybody regardless of sign and even in a sign like Sagittarius it's very positive and optimistic this could be a period where you may not really be showing nearly as much happy feeling so to speak than you're ordinarily accustomed to Saturn is also associated with apprehension and fear so in some cases this may manifest in fearing uh, the, the public more than usual and it will obviously surprise some people to, in, in many instances especially if you have a chart that's more extroverted and gregarious say if you have preponderance of planets on the top half of the chart and you have majority of your major astrological energy in masculine signs uh, another thing too I mean if it's in, in say if this falls in Gemini it could be maybe being fearful of the of a very inquisitive and nosy public uh, basically and uh, at this time as well let's say I uh, mean Saturn can be connected with the career as well and it may be where um, career and responsibilities and connected with it might be taking more of an emotional toll on you uh, at this uh, at, at this time and uh, I mean say going back to zodiac sign Gemini say if it falls in Gemini it could be something with writing or journalism or doing something which requires dexterity and use of the hands very strongly such as auto or refrigeration mechanics could be working with fax machines uh, anything Gemini related might be you might be inundated with work associated with those things as an example and it may be taking that emotional toll uh, it could also be a time where your home life might be a little bit more depressing and causing you to feel more melancholy and despondent at this time you might be feeling more alone and desolate uh, at this time and 
I, th I would say my, my advice to people that have this transit, it could be a time, I mean, I understand you may need, you know, your isolation at this time, but even too much isolation could be no good. So it's still a time to interact. I would say try to interact to some degree because you don't want to get to a point where you go into any very deep, uh, prodigious state of depression uh, at this time as well, because Saturn could be very depressive energy, and the moon, of course, is associated with how one may feel. Hold on a moment. Sorry about that, I'm back. But anyway, now in some cases too, this could also manifest in some issues that are Saturn related, like issues with the skin, the teeth, the bones, joint, joints, knees, uh, hamstrings, uh, and it might be causing more emotional uh, distress. And again, this could be very, you know, more of an introverted, introspective uh, period uh, for you. It could be. Some some cases this could manifest in taking responsibility for maybe you know, certain emotional needs or things you might be expressing on a subconscious level but not always cognizant of it. Again, going back to the zodiac sign Gemini, it could be per, and, and say if it's in your Gemini in your tenth house, it could be vicariously maybe living through uh, maybe the the dominant parents' experiences, which is often the father or an authority figure. Um, this is a, as opposed in contrast to a, you know, really creating your own life in terms of your own uh, achievements and uh, creating your own experiences and achievements as opposed to living through somebody else's. So anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube Astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Leonard saying stay well.